So our first, uh, for our second presenter, may I now call on Ms. Gertrude Danau from St. Mary's University to be immediately followed by an intermission number from uh, called the Ilucano Talking Poetry. Hey everyone, I am Gertrude G. Danau, a part-time faculty member of the School of Engineering, Architecture, and Information Technology of St. Mary's University of Bayambong, Nueva Vizcaya, Region 2. To be honest, it was my first time to hear about Spoodle. I wasn't even aware that there could be an offline learning management system, an LMS that can be saved and accessed using a flash drive until I was introduced to it by this training. Thanks to the training offered by your institution, the MISOL, I became aware that there could be another tool that we can use for our flexible learning. I find this Poodle very promising. I immediately thought that it could be an answer to the problems encountered by some of our students experiencing problems with internet connectivity. I also see this an opportunity for using not only pure online but also offline mode of learning delivery. In my opinion, Spoodle provides an opportunity to offer other mode of delivery of instruction to students who could only afford mobile data. I would like to believe that the Spoodle is an answer to the digital divide that up to now some of our students experience. I can also see that using Spoodle mean less cost as compared to the amount spent in logging in to the internet from the beginning up to the end of students' classes. Economically, using Spoodle would not only help the students but also their parents. From school year 2019 up to present, our university uses the SMU LMS that our Center for Information and Communication Development Technology developed. It is a Moodle LMS where we deliver all instructions online. It is where we conduct synchronous and asynchronous sessions, practically using all the different functions and activities of the LMS Moodle. We use the feedback to check students' att attendance, assignment, URL for the link to other instructional resources, discussion forum, quiz, and file to upload instructional materials and references. For our synchronous sessions, we use the big blue button, though we also use Zoom and Gmeet depending upon the preference of our students. Aside from the LMS, we also use Messenger to communicate with our students where we conduct short meetings, send announcements, and files especially to students who are having problems with LMS connectivity, which I believe Poodle can address. Aside from the Messenger, some faculty members also use the Gmail to send instructional materials upon the request of the students. To run the SMU LMS, our institution has a dedicated server that is maintained by the SMU Center of Information and Communication Technology. However, when I stole Spoodle, the difficulty that I have experienced is that I can't run it in my computer. Thanks to the facilitators of this training, they helped me solve the problem. I was able to run and use it. Having experienced this difficulty in installing, I thought that even with the presence of the support or help desk, a manual on how to install and use the Spoodle would still be helpful. With this, I would like to thank the organizers of this training for sharing your expertise to the educational institutions all over the country. Thank you.
God bless all of you and more power to the Silliman Online University Learning. Thank you.